Hello and welcome to section Tuning. In the last section, we learned about state of our deep neural network architectures and saw that they have a lot of parameters which affects the model dramatically. In this section, we'll focus on how we can tune the neural networks and optimize their performance using automated methods. In this section, we are going to show you hyperparameter space optimization techniques and fixing and selecting parameters, testing and evaluating, and early stopping. Now, we move on the first video of this section that explains hyperparameter space optimization techniques. Neural network training should converge at the end of the day and not go wild and crazy. Sometimes I find myself addicted to watching fluctuations of loss function. Instead of doing this, an efficient automatic search is better choice. In this video, we are going to take a look at these techniques like grid search, Bayesian optimization, random search, and gradient-based search. Let's start with grid search. Grid search also called exhaustive search is a technique that one manually specify the subset of parameters and apply each of them. Usually it's measured by cross validation. The problem with grid search is it suffers from something called curse of dimensionality, which means that as the parameters you specify varies, you need more and more parallelized computation. So it's a bit costly technique and I don't prefer it. On the other hand, Bayesian optimization gives you experiment driven approach for optimizing hyperparameters. This technique relies on querying a distribution over functions defined by a relatively cheap surrogate model. In the other words, first we develop a statistical model of the function that maps from hyperparameter values to the evaluation scores. An accurate model for this distribution requires many evaluations like massively paralyzing the optimization. This technique mostly does better than expats. Therefore, if you are a new starter, look for using this one instead of trying to find out parameters manually. Gradient-based optimization can be used for hyperparameter search for neural networks. This technique assumes that it is possible to compute the gradients with respect to hyperparameters. Just like the way we update the weights in the neural networks, why not do the same for the hyperparameters? I personally use this approach and recommend it to you as well. Random search is most of the time better than the grid search, since the grid search is costly. We basically randomly sample the parameter settings and apply each of them. It's more preferable than grid search since it turns out that some parameters do not significantly affect the model. In this video, you learned about hyperparameter space optimization techniques. You can use this guidance to choose your way to tune your model. 